Good morning, parents, teachers, and students. Welcome back to our Mathematics 9 Facebook Live. We are now in Week 9, Lesson 9. Today, we will discuss finding the equation of quadratic function and its application. Let me present to you our objectives for today. At the end of the discussion, you should be able to Number 1. Determine the equation of quadratic function given by the table of values, graph, and zeros. Number two, solve problem involving quadratic function. Please be ready with your ADM or modules and turn it on page 36 of mathematics section. Make sure that your pen and paper are with you for solving and note-taking purposes. Before we proceed to our topic, let us review some related topics that we need for today's discussion. Our activity is entitled, Recall and React. You need to carefully analyze the statements that will be flashed. Choose from either hard, light, or wow reaction that corresponds to correct answer. Or you may drop it on our comment section. You are given 10 seconds to place your answer. Let's start. Item number 1. What are the values of A, B, and C in the quadratic function f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 3x minus 2? For like react, A is equal to 2x squared, B is equal to negative 3x, C is equal to negative 2. For hard react, A is equal to 2, B is equal to 3, and C is 2. For wow react, A is equal to 2, B is equal to negative 3, and C is negative 2. Will you hit hard, light, or wow reaction? Timer starts now. Time's up! If you answered wow, you are correct. Let us proceed to item number 2. What is the vertex of this graph? Negative 2, comma, negative 3 for like reaction. Negative 3, comma, negative 2 for heart. 3, comma, 2 for wow. 10 seconds, go! If you hit hard, you are great. You should remember that the vertex of the parabola pertains to the highest or lowest point of the graph. Number 3. What are the x-intercepts of this graph? Negative 3, comma, 0, and 1, comma, 0 for life. Negative 1, comma 0 and 3 comma 0 for heart 1 comma 0 and 3 comma 0 for wow 10 seconds go the correct answer is like react remember that the x-intercepts are the values of x when y is 0. This also refers to points where the parabola crosses the x-axis. Item number 4. Find x in the system x plus y is equal to 8, 2x minus y is equal to 4. For like react, negative 3, for heart react, 3, and for wow react is 4. 10 seconds, go! If 
if you drop wow, you are correct. By applying systems of linear equation, we can solve for the value of x. We can use either substitution or elimination method in the given system. But in this example, let us use elimination. Let us eliminate one of the variables to get the value of the other. By adding the two equations, x plus 2x is equal to 3x. y plus negative y is 0. 8 plus 4 is 12. This will give us the sum of 3x is equal to 12. To find the value of x, divide both sides by 3. Therefore, x is equal to 4. In support with item number 4, question number 5 is given by what is the value of y in the system x plus y is equal to 8. 2x minus y is equal to 4. Your hint is we solve the value of x, which is 4, in the previous slide. For like react, y is equal to 4. For heart react, y is equal to 8. And for wow, y is equal to 12. 10 seconds, go! Times up, the answer is y is equal to 4. For this example, let us use the first equation x plus y is equal to 8 to get the value of y. Substituting 4 to x, we will have 4 plus y is equal to 8. By applying addition property of equality, the value of y is in the previous lesson, you have learned the concept of quadratic function in terms of an equation, table of values, and graphs. In addition, you also mastered the way of solving the intercepts and the others given the quadratic function. But how about if we are given with the table of values? graph, and zeros of the function. And we are asked to find the equation of quadratic function. Let us discuss first when the table of values is given. In finding the equation of quadratic function given the table of values, it is important that you know identifying the values of A, B, and C, and how to solve Systems of linear equation by substitution or by elimination method. Just like what we did in our activity. This was taught to you on your grade 8 which dealt about finding the value of the unknown variable. To find the equation of quadratic function given the table of values, here are the steps. Number 1. Choose any three points, then substitute each of them in the standard form of quadratic function y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Step number two. Solve the values of a, b, and c by elimination or substitution method. Step number three. Substitute the values of a, b, and c to the standard form of quadratic function y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Let us know how to find the equation of quadratic function given by the table of values using this example. Given this table of values, determine its corresponding equation of quadratic function. Step 1. Choose any three points or ordered pairs, then substitute each of them in the standard form of quadratic function y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. In this case, let us choose 
the points negative 1, comma, negative 4, 0, comma, negative 1, and 1, comma, negative 2. Now, we will substitute each of them in our standard form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Remember that our target is to solve for the values of a, b, and c using the identified points and the standard form of quadratic function, which is considered as step number 2. The first point is negative 1, comma, negative 4. Substituting x and y to y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, we will obtain negative 4 is equal to a times negative 1 squared plus b times negative 1 plus c. Simplifying the equation further, we have negative 4 is equal to a minus b plus c, which we will consider as equation number 1. The second point is 0, comma, negative 1. Substituting x and y to y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, we will obtain negative 1 is equal to a times 0 squared plus b times 0 plus c. Simplifying the equation further, we have negative 1 is equal to C. And by symmetric property, it is equivalent to C is equal to negative 1, which is considered as equation number 2. And the third point is 1 comma negative 2. Substituting X and Y to Y is equal to AX squared plus BX plus C we will obtain negative 2 is equal to a times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c. Simplifying the equation further, we have negative 2 is equal to a plus b plus c, which is considered as equation number 3. If you can see, we already got the value of c, which is negative 1. Substitute the value of C to the equations 1 and 3. If C is negative 1 from equation 1, negative 4 is equal to A minus B plus C. It will become negative 4 is equal to A minus B plus negative 1. Simplifying the equation will result to negative 3 is equal to A minus B. On the other hand, if C is equal to negative 1 from equation number 3, negative 2 is equal to A plus B plus C. It will become negative 2 is equal to A plus B plus negative 1. Simplifying the equation will result to negative 1 is equal to A plus B. Using the new equations, solve for the values of A and B. You may use solving systems of linear equation by elimination or substitution. In this case, let us use elimination method. Given negative 3 is equal to A minus B and negative 1 is equal to A plus B, let us add them to eliminate B. Negative 3 plus negative 1 is negative 4. A plus A is 2A. Negative B plus B is 0. So we have negative 4 is equal to 2a. By symmetric property, we can say that 2a is equal to negative 4. Divide both sides by 2 to get a. Thus, a is equal to negative 2. The value of a is negative 2. Use either negative 3 is equal to a minus b or negative 1 is equal to a plus b 
to find the value of B. In this case, let us use negative 1 is equal to A plus B to substitute negative 2. It will become negative 1 is equal to negative 2 plus B. By adding 2 to both sides of the equation, we will have 1 is equal to B or B is equal to 1 by symmetric property. Step number 3. Substitute the values of A, B, and C to the standard form of quadratic function y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. The obtained values are a is equal to negative 2, b is equal to 1, and c is negative 1. Substituting these values, we will have y is equal to negative 2 times x squared plus 1 times x plus negative 1. Simplifying the equation, we obtain y is equal to negative 2x squared plus x minus 1. The equation of quadratic function that will describe the given table of values is y is equal to negative 2x squared plus x minus 1. Now that you know how to find the equation of quadratic function given by the table of values, let us proceed when the given is graph. In finding the equation of quadratic function given by the graph, it is essential that you know how to locate points in the Cartesian plane, the vertex, and the standard form of quadratic function. Here are the steps in finding the equation of quadratic function given the graph. Step 1. Locate and identify the coordinates of the vertex H, K of the parabola. Step 2. Identify the coordinates of any point on the parabola. Step 3. Substitute the vertex and the identified point to the vertex form of quadratic function. Y is equal to A times the square of binomial X minus H plus K. Then solve for A. Step number 4. Using the values of A, H, and K, write the equation of quadratic function in vertex form. Given the graph described by a parabola that opens upward, what is the corresponding equation? In determining the equation of quadratic function given the graph, we need to consider the vertex and at least one point on the graph. Step number one. Locate and identify the coordinates of the vertex H, K of the parabola. This is the vertex of the parabola with coordinates negative 2, negative 3. The vertex of the graph is at negative 2, negative 3. Step number two. Identify the coordinates of any point x, y on the parabola. In this example, let us use this 0, negative 1. Since it is one of the points where the parabola passes through. Step number 3. Substitute the coordinates of the vertex and the identified point in the vertex form of quadratic function. Simplify to find the value of A. The value of H is equal to negative 2 and the value of K is negative 3. The value of X is 0 and Y is negative 1. Substitute these values to y is equal to a times the square of binomial x minus h plus k. We have negative 1 is equal to a times the square of the difference of 0 and negative 2. 
plus negative 3. Simplifying the terms inside the grouping symbol, the result is 4. So we will have negative 1 is equal to 4a minus 3. Adding 3 to both sides of the equation, we will have negative 1 plus 3 is equal to 4a. Simplifying it further, we have 2 is equal to 4a. Dividing both sides by 4 and getting the lowest term, we will have 1 half is equal to a. Or a is equal to 1 half by symmetric property. Step number 4. Using a, h, and k, write the equation of the quadratic function in vertex form. Substitute h is equal to negative 2, k is negative 3, and a is 1 half, 2, y is equal to a, times the square of binomial x minus h plus k. So we have y is equal to 1 half times the square of the difference of x and negative 2 plus negative 3. Simplifying the function, we obtain y is equal to 1 half times the square of binomial x plus 2 minus 3. Therefore, the equation that will describe the quadratic function given by this graph is y is equal to 1 half times the square of binomial x plus 2 minus 3. And it can also be written in standard form. Example number 2. Given the graph described by a parabola that opens downward, what is the corresponding equation? Step number 1. Here is our vertex and it has coordinates 2, 4. Step number 2. In this example, let us use 1, 1. Step number 3. The value of h is 2. And the value of k is 4. The value of x is 1. And the value of y is 1. Substitute these values to y is equal to a times the square of binomial x minus h plus k. We have 1 is equal to a times the square of the difference of 1 and 2 plus 4. Simplifying the terms inside the grouping symbol, the result is 1. So we will have 1 is equal to a plus 4. Adding negative 4 to both sides, it will become negative 4 plus 1 is equal to a, which is negative 3 is equal to a. Therefore, a is equal to negative 3. Step number 4. Substitute h is equal to 2, k is equal to 4, and a is equal to negative 3, 2y is equal to a times the square of binomial x minus h plus k. We will obtain y is equal to negative 3 times the square of the difference of x and 2 plus 4. Simplifying the function, we will have y is equal to negative 3 times the square of binomial x minus 2 plus 4. Hence, the equation that will describe the quadratic function given by this graph is y is equal to negative 3 times the square of binomial x minus 2 plus 4 and it can also be written in standard form. Now that you know how to determine the equation of quadratic function given the table of values and graphs, let us determine the equation of quadratic function given its zeros. Here are the steps in finding the equation of quadratic function given its zeros. Step 1. Express each zero as an equation. 
Step 2, equate to 0. Step 3, express as factors of the function, then multiply. Step 4, write the equation of quadratic function in standard form, f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Example number 1. The zeros of quadratic function are negative 2 and 4. Step 1. Express each zero as an equation. So we will have x is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to 4. Step number 2. Equate to 0. For x is equal to negative 2, by adding 2 to both sides, we will obtain x plus 2 is equal to 0. For x is equal to 4, by adding negative 4 to both sides, we will obtain x minus 4 is equal to 0. Step number 3. Express as factors of the function, then multiply. So we will have f of x is equal to x plus 2 times x minus 4. To multiply, we will use the FOIL method. x times x is x squared. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. 2 times x is 2x. And 2 times negative 4 is negative a. Adding negative 4x and 2x, the result is negative 2x. So we will obtain f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x minus a. Step number 4. Write the equation of the quadratic function in standard form. Therefore, the equation is f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 8. Example number 2. The zeros of the quadratic function are 3 and 5. Step 1. We will have x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 5. Step number 2. For x is equal to 3, by adding negative 3 to both sides of the equation, we will have x minus 3 is equal to 0. For x is equal to 5, by adding negative 5 to both sides of the equation, we will obtain x minus 5 is equal to 0. Step number 3. We will have f of x is equal to x minus 3 times x minus 5. Use the FOIL method to multiply. x times x is x squared. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And negative 3 times negative 5 is 15. Add negative 5x and negative 3x, we will have negative 8x. So, we will obtain f of x is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 15. Step number 4. The equation is f of x is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 15. Have you been in this place? Where is this place? Comment down your answer. Yes, this is Intramuros. Have you been here? Did you know that due to constant attacks from foreign invaders, defensive features surrounded the city, including two mouths, cannons, and fortified walls were built. That is why it is called the Walled City. Have you seen the cannons there? Cannons are one of the battle equipments used in wars. Let us apply what we have learned in quadratic function in word problems. In solving word problems involving quadratic function, we have to read, understand, analyze the problem, and apply mathematical concepts 
that we acquired and learned. Let us solve this problem. The trajectory of a cannonball can be traced as the curve or a parabola. Suppose that it is fired upward from the top of a 112 foot high wall at a speed of 96 feet per second, which can be modeled as h of t is equal to negative 16 t squared plus 96 t plus 112. The questions are, what is the maximum height of the cannonball? Number two, when does the cannonball reach the maximum height? And when will the cannonball hit the ground? Let us answer these questions one by one. The first question is, what is the maximum height of the cannonball? To compute for the maximum height, we will use the formula K is equal to C minus B squared over 4A. We have to identify the values of A, B, and C in the quadratic function H of T is equal to negative 16 T squared plus 96 T plus 112. The value of A is negative 16. The value of B is 96. The value of C is 112. We have to substitute these values to our formula. So we will have K is equal to 112 minus 96 squared over 4 times negative 16. Simplifying, we will have K is equal to 112. 96 squared is 9,216 over 4 times negative 16 is negative 64. Simplifying it further, K is equal to 112. Negative 9,216 divided by negative 64 is 144. Then, 112 plus 144 is 256. Therefore, 256 feet is the maximum height of the cannonball. The second question is, when does the cannonball reach the maximum height? To compute for the time when the cannonball reaches the maximum height, we will use the formula H is equal to negative B over 2A. Since we already identified the values of A, B, and C of the function, let us substitute again these values in our formula. So we will have H is equal to negative 96 since 96 is the value of B over 2 times the value of A, which is negative 16. Simplifying, we will have negative 96 over 2 times negative 16 is negative 32. Negative 96 divided by negative 32 is 3. Hence, the cannonball will reach its maximum height after 3 seconds. The third question is, when will the cannonball hit the ground? To compute, we need to get the zeros or the roots of the function h of t is equal to negative 16 t squared plus 96 t plus 112. Let h of t is equal to 0. We will have 0 is equal to negative 16 t squared plus 96 t plus 112. Using symmetric property, we will have negative 16 t squared plus 96 t plus 112 is equal to 0. 
Simplifying the function by dividing all the terms by negative 16, we will obtain t squared minus 60 minus 7 is equal to 0. Then using factoring, we can easily find the zeros of the function. The factors are x minus 7 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. Then we have to equate them to 0 using zero product property. We will have x minus 7 is equal to 0 and x plus 1 is equal to 0. Simplifying it further in x minus 7 is equal to 0, we will have x is equal to 7 by adding 7 to both sides of the equation. Then for x plus 1 is equal to 0, we will have x is equal to negative 1 by adding negative 1 to both sides of the equation. Therefore, the zeros of the function are negative 1 and 7. Since we are looking for the time of the cannonball hit the ground, negative 1 is an extraneous solution. Therefore, the cannonball will hit the ground after 7 seconds. So we are through. And you did a great job today. Let us now sum up today's lesson. In finding the equation of the quadratic function, given the table of values, the steps are Number 1. Choose any three points, then substitute each of them in the standard form of quadratic function y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Step number 2. Solve the values of a, b, and c by elimination or substitution method. Step 3. Substitute the values of a, b, and c to the standard form of quadratic function y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. In finding the equation of quadratic function given the graph, here are the steps. Step 1. Locate and identify the coordinates of the vertex h, k of the parabola. Step 2. Identify the coordinates of any point on the parabola. Step 3. Substitute the vertex and the identified point to the vertex form of quadratic function y is equal to a times the square of binomial x minus h plus k then solve for a. Step 4. Using the values of a h, and k, write the equation of the quadratic function in the vertex form. In finding the equation of the quadratic function given the zeros, step 1, express each zero as an equation. Step 2, equate to zero. Step 3, express as factors of the function, then multiply. Step 4, Write the equation of quadratic function in standard form f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. In solving word problems involving quadratic function, we have to read, understand, and analyze the problem and apply the mathematical concept. We will now answer some questions coming from our Every Life viewers. A question from a random viewer. How to form the equation of the quadratic function if the vertex cannot be accurately identified? Mm, you can choose any three points or ordered pairs that can be accurately identified on the graph. You can apply the method of determining the equation of quadratic function given the table of values using the three points or ordered pair that are chosen.
then solve for the values of A, B, and C using solving systems of linear equation. Lastly, formulate the equation of the quadratic function. And for your home learning task on your ADM mathematics section, answer try this in what's more section numbers 1 to 3 and 8 to 10 about finding the equation of quadratic function given a table of values and graph. I hope that you learned something for today. Please keep in mind, solving math problems might be challenging, but use this as an instrument to make you develop your critical, logical, and creative thinking. This is Miss Jessalyn Cordero. Good day and God bless.